I'm Blair Gilbert here for MrHardware.com and Gilbert's Pro Hardware in St. Clair Shores. We are here to show the, the puppy poop hole. How easy they are to make, how great they are to maintain, and how with a bigger dog, I used to have a 70 pound dog, these poop holes would last me a year and a half. So, here's Finn's puppy poop hole. Go to your local landscape yard. Find yourself the center of a circle kit. These are my brick pavers. This is the bricks for the center of a circle kit. I took Franklin's heavy duty construction adhesive. This glue lasts typically over 10 years before I finally get a, a break in my bricks. I do is I put a healthy gob on each joint all the way around the circle. I put the circle together, I get it all kind of nice. I put a rope around it, I tie it around a stick, and I tighten it like a tourniquet. I tighten it overnight. I glue it on a piece of cardboard so any glues is out. Here's the reason we do this. The killer fin. We've had these holes have dotted around the perimeter of my property here uh, since the 80s. Each time I move them, I'll take and I'll take the ring. Sometimes these have been out in the lawn. I will take the ring and put it over the grass notch the grass, cut the sod off, then when I dig the hole, I put the dirt over the old hole, which you're about to see, and then I can put the sod back over the old hole. In a month's time, you can't even see where the old holes have been. The grass fills in, and now I'm on the new poop hole. So here's the procedure. See how well that glue has lasted? This unit is staying in the garden, so there's no sod involved. But you can see if you were in a sod situation, this would not be a very big deal just to cut the sod the same way as I'm going to remove a little of the earth. So I removed the perimeter so that the bricks will be about flush. I'm using a post hole digger to start my initial hole. And my goal here is to go as deep as I possibly can. And I'm gonna egg shape the hole a little bit. And the plan here is so when I put the bricks back, the bricks will be about flush with the surface around it. I don't need them to be proud to be tripped on. I try to keep them flush. I've got these in my lawn at home that are right in the yard. The lawnmower goes right over it. When I start the hole, the first dirt I use is to cover up the old hole. Now that I have sufficient dirt on top of the old and tamper down, and all evidence of the old hole will be gone as soon as something starts to grow there. These are my steel-toed sandals, by the way. Fully OSHA approved. I try to make this hole two and a half feet deep, three foot deep. I go down at an angle. My goal is to pear shape this hole so it's bigger at the bottom. Now I got a 20 pound dog. This hole probably lasts two years and it's only uh, two foot deep. So bear in mind the ground, how much energy you have, how big your dog is, will control the size of your hole. One more thing to think about is if you're doing this in any part of your yard where there could be underground utilities, gas lines, uh, water lines or sprinkler lines, dig this hole gingerly or to be totally safe you can call Miss Dig and they will come out and identify all the lines in your yard so before you're digging you don't go find anything that you shouldn't have with your shovel. Holes dug, the lips have been made. What really makes this system 
cool as I go get a hunk of slate to slide over the hole. I take and I can just kick the brick aside, throw the waste in the hole, put the brick back over the top, and now I've got a natural composting puppy poop hole. You can't even see where the old hole was. Ready for some plant life in a little while. And the garden continues on. Puppy maintenance made easy. Thanks to MrHardware.com.